How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with another Black Desert mobile video. Now we are one day away from soft launch, so we're finally gonna be able to get play this beautiful game in a language I can read. Whew, it's been a it's been quite the cup quite the couple days trying to learn as much as possible while playing on a client that looks like this. Google Google Translate can only do so much for you, but today I want to look at what characters are available for us tomorrow on the soft launch and 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 kind of give you a little may, maybe give you some content to sort of start thinking about who you're gonna play so you're not sitting there like me at character creation character selection and just like <sighs> who am i gonna play what is it gonna be i don't even know well for starters good luck at the customization screen regardless of which class you pick this customization screen is so vast, you can change so much about your character's face, this, everything. And, and this, this screen always holds me back for quite a while. But, classes. Let's take a look at the classes really quick. We're, there's going to be the warrior available. So, out of the melee classes, oh, they're, they're, they're not in order that way. So, we have warrior, valkyrie, and giant. Those are going to be the three melee classes that are available at launch. And, of course, we have the witch and the ranger as two ranged dps classes so let's take a closer look at them all we have um the warrior's main sub weapon is warrior has a long shield a long sword and a shield and obviously melee combat type <clears throat> we have we have a we have a slideshow of pictures to take a look at for the warrior uh flashy but but pictures don't really show anything off this is uh, uh it looks like a self buff obviously probably a, a weapon attack buff all right, slideshows not so great, but let's take a look at the let's take a look at the video. Oh, give me that, give me that 2160p. Whoo! Why would you even think I didn't want this? All right, all right. <clears throat> the warrior's got a good-looking face. We've established that. <clears throat> some crits, some good AOE melee damage. Very combo-heavy moves. Now, talking with a lot of people about classes that have actually played the game, um, they say warrior warrior is one of the strongest melee characters in the game. But one of the one of the big things that holds the warrior back is uh, the warrior has a hard time farming. Uh, so it's a little weaker in, P uh, in PVE content, but an absolute powerhouse. If you can get through that wall of of struggling to farm. You're really going to enjoy playing the warrior afterwards, especially if you're a melee if you're a melee character in if you're a melee character player in general. A warrior is a well-rounded melee class, an expert in utilizing utilizing his abilities and attacks with a long sword and shield. Rough and battle hardened, his powerful attacks and physical prowess are a sight to behold. Such as charging right into the midst of enemies with skills like takedown, and while his shield grants a high level of defense, it's a deadly weapon on, in its own. In its own right, he can use it to immobilize his foes and reposition to his favor. So, a uh, yeah, we have a a very tanky melee character. Uh, pros, I know Warrior excels in PvP, one-on-one -on -one combat, uh, and uh, struggles a little bit in the PvE content. To be just really just your AFK farming, because he has to run to get to every mob. His attacks aren't ranged, and he does seem to be a little slower. Uh, melee wise movement wise than the giant <clears throat> now we have the valkyrie valkyrie blessed with sacred powers and shield ever at the ready stands as a paragon on the battlefield similar to the warrior her defensive capabilities keep her allies out of harm's way though her holy power also provides other buffs and recovery spells this is not to say she is merely a supportive presence on the battlefield as her sacred skills can also deal immense damage so the valkyrie very similar to the warrior has a a long sword and a shield, but is a, a pseudo supporting melee unit. Now, as you can see, she, she's got she's gonna have self buffs, pe ability to buff her her uh, party teammates, and deal her own damage. So much more like a paladin. This is gonna be comparable to a paladin in every other game that you've played. You have a, you have some recovery spells, so healing, self buffs, party buffs. And you can dish the damage out. And I've heard Valkyrie does extremely well in PvP as well. Uh, due to this, as you guys know, Paladins in most games have excelled in PvP quite a lot. Let's take a look at this uh, video. Oh yeah, give me that. Give me that 2160p. <clears throat> Why am I getting distortion on the hair? That was a recording 
Recording mistake. Well, hello, Valkyrie. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa! <clears throat> yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is a support character right here. For sure. I, I like, I like what half of my attacks are just kicking someone in the face. That is fantastic. <clears throat> Alright, a quick little sneak peek at the, at the, the in combat spells and stuff from the Valkyrie as well. But let's, let's move on to the giant. Now, axe slash ornamental knot. Ornamental knot. I'm not even quite sure what that means. Melee, a melee type. The giant wields two mighty axes that leave nothing but death in its wake. In his wake. His melee skills are best fit for a group of enemies as he cleaves, slices, and smashes all those who oppose him. So I've been told the giant really excels in PvP. He has a lot of crowd control skills and um, still as, a me as most melee characters struggles in PvE. That, 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 but that's just a given. I mean, if you're playing a melee character, you know your character's got to run a little bit farther to, to kill mobs, AFK mobs. It, it, you can just AFK and, and farm up resources. Who cares? You want a character that absolutely kicks butt in PvP. I've been told that the giant has been suggested to me through and through. Let's take a quick look at his skills. <clears throat> TR crazy face. Not even live right now, but thanks for that follow. <clears throat> the giant, why so glum? All I do is just, it, but what? Let me just run through everybody. And I, that's this one I love. He just kicks you in the face. Lots of ground slams. There's an elbow drop he does. Oh, oh yeah, this is gonna stomp on you. Don't mind me. Show me the spin to win. <gasps> oh my gosh. So they, they haven't showed the skill. So the giant has, from League of Legends, Garen spin to win, and he does this massive, oh, elbow drop. Those are two of my favorite skills. Um, they, they, they were missed out there, but the giant is a, it's a, he's a very AOE intense melee character who is all about damage. He's dishing out the damage. He's going to be the, the, he's going to have the weakest defenses out of the melee characters, but, do, but does the most damage out of them. He is, he's your, he's your true warrior class, I would say. Actually, not really warrior. I guess more of a rogue, but not, he's not an assassin though. He, he kind of really is a true warrior class because the warrior in this game He's got the shield and the sword. It's a little more beefy. I I, I usually describe that warrior role more like what this giant is going to provide to you. Really, really strong CC for, uh, and close combat for PvP, uh, and at cost of most of the defenses. The warrior in this game, to me, I, well, he's being described as one of the more tanky characters we have. So I would I would put that more in a tank class. But we don't really have tanks in Black Desert Mobile in general, and that's why they're not doing that. So let's take a look at the witch now. Um, <clears throat> obviously, so the witch has a staff and a dagger. Burn, freeze, and shatter enemies with the power of natural elements. Having bound the forces of fire, ice, wind, lightning, and earth to her will, the witch is a master of elemental magic. With enough time to prepare, the sheer damage they are capable of is unmatched by any other. And I now, about a little thing about the witch, I've been told she has the best costumes in the game. <laughs> Man, that resolution on the hair is killing me. <clears throat> they didn't show that skill off very well. I hope, I hope, that, okay, there's the freeze. Massive AoE freeze. Channeling, channeling spells that, that uh, hit an, an AoE cone in front of her. There's fireball. Here we go. This is one of my favorites. Literally just goes, that's right, lightning storm all around her. Uh, so I have a witch at level like 30 that I've gotten to on the on the uh, Korean server. I've played I've played the witch, the ranger, and the giant so far. Uh, ran out of time. I wanted to start my Valkyrie and warrior. I'll probably be playing them later today, still re leading up to launch. But witch very much falls into your caster type character. The witch actually has some healing spells. Uh, one or two healing spells, and the rest is just massive AOE damage. Um, not many, not many of her t skills have been single target that I've seen so far. Tons and tons of AOE. Very, very typical spellcaster that you that you've seen in other games. So this would be a spellcaster with the side ability to actually pump out some healing as well. Last but not least, we have the ranger. 
obviously with a, with a longbow, also a dagger, just like the witch. Rangers are an exceptionally agile class, allowing them to deftly maneuver around their foes. With a bow by their side, rangers swiftly and gracefully take down their enemies. Yet, even if they get close, the ranger can use their powerful kicks to become, to beat back incoming threats. Let's take a look at her. Let's take a look at their the video, little ranger intro video. This is just to toggling through all their default faces. Just to start your customization, you pick one of these seven or eight defaults. Then you can customize literally everything on your character. Good luck. So you can see we're getting some AoE abilities, some little little close melee. We got some kicks in there, just like that description said. <clears throat> sort of uh, kiting a little bit with her skills. D most arrows look like they pierce, which means they'll do damage in a straight line. So still, still this is out some good AoE damage. Nowhere near as much as the witch when it comes to AoEing down, uh, just trap like just random mobs. But ranger, you're gonna have your ranger falls under a very typical MMO title too of that hunter, that that ranged DPS with a bow. Yeah, that this is that class for you if uh, at launch if that's what you're most interested in playing. So once again, we have the witch, the giant, witch, uh, ranged DPS spellcaster, the giant that. That bruiser, that get down, get in there, mess people up, spin to win. Valkyrie, uh, more like a paladin. You have healing buffs, and you're a you're a devastating melee force to boot. And the warrior, you you're very, you're quite a tanky melee character. You get in there, good luck killing me. I'm a beast, one on one. It's gonna be you're gonna have a good time. Ranger, range DPS with a bow falls under all your classic MMO categories, just like that. And honestly, I, I've been like, like I've talked to a bunch of people who played a ton in the Korean server, and the classes are extremely balanced. Each one of them are going to excel at many different things, and they they are do, they've done a fantastic job at making you feel you will enjoy the game, no matter which one of these five characters you pick. And also, a big tip is, alts are huge in this game. Chances are you're going to end up playing most if not all of these characters anyway there are a bunch of character slots you're just you're gonna once you max out you're gonna make make more characters and keep grinding it's just gonna happen so don't stress too much over which character to pick to start the game off pick one good luck at your character customization screen when you finally make it through there i will see you in the game and it's gonna be awesome i hope hopefully you come and join the my discord it's discord.gg slash mass tv Link in the description down below. I'm looking forward to, to getting to know you. Let's talk about the game. We got a growing, really growing section in our Discord to take a look at. Actually, <clears throat> make sure make, make sure there is nothing there. I need to need to do some uh, some editing to get rid of. I got, we got a general section where the conversation is always popping. Uh, of course, a, a, a guild application for the guild I'm going to be running at in the soft launch. We're talking about all the different classes. Uh, and then and then just getting some general guides up. It's it's a great place to jump into and start getting to know the game Or if you're an expert, we'd love to have you as well So you can start teaching us even more that that would be fantastic and uh, That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope to see you all I'm gonna be live on Twitch later today And I'm gonna stream right through into the launch and and try to stream as long as I can after the game goes live on a, a big marathon stream. I hope that you come join me. That'll be at twitch.tv slash maskscarin. Link also in the description down below. One day from launch, everybody. Let's have a lot of fun. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Uh, that, that's it for today. Until next time, smash that subscribe button and stay classy.